When trying to build the most muscle, which is better? Full body workouts where you train every muscle group in just one workout. That's usually three days per week. So Monday, rest on Tuesday. Wednesday, do a full body workout, rest on Thursday. And then Friday, you do the full body workout again. All the more popular split workout routines, which most bodybuilding magazines and people on YouTube will promote. That's where you train each muscle group on a different day. So for example, you might train chest on Monday, back on Tuesday, shoulders on Wednesday, legs on Thursday, arms on Friday. Another popular split routine is a push-pull legs, where we work all the muscles that push the weight, such as shoulders, such as chest, and then we work all the muscles that pull the weight, such as biceps and back. The question is, do we work all the muscles together on the full body workout or do we split the muscles up throughout the week? Most people do split routines and most people think that the split routine is superior for building muscle and I think that's because that's what the majority of people do. In this video, I'm going to tell you the truth about which is better, full body versus split routines and I think you're going to be really surprised by the actual truth and which is going to be better for you to build muscle. If you are someone that wants to learn how to lose body fat and build muscle, this is the YouTube channel you need to subscribe to. So click the little bell and click the subscribe button. So first of all, what I'm going to do is talk a little bit about the split routine and then I'm going to transfer over and talk about the full body workouts and if they are superior or not. And then in the end, we're going to summarize and talk about what is the actual best way to train. So the first benefit of a split routine where we split the body parts up throughout the week is that it's what most people do. Because most people perform the split routines, it is proven to work. And so if you're doing that split routine, you are going to see good results because that's what a lot of other people see. Another benefit to the split routine is that if you love to train, if it's something that you're really passionate about and you look forward to going to the gym, then you're obviously training two more days per week than somebody that's doing a full body workout. So you get an extra two days to do something that you enjoy to do. Also, the split routine is actually easier because you're only training one muscle group per day. Your workouts may only last 30 to 45 minutes, whereas if you're doing a full body workout, it's going to last an hour. It could last over an hour to get all the muscle groups into that one workout. So I don't like the split routine where you split each body part up into separate days. So let's say we hit chest on Monday, then we don't hit chest again till the following Monday. I'm going to explain in a minute why that is when I start talking about the full body workouts. But also what I would say is if I'm going to do a split routine, I think the best split routine is a push-pull legs workout. So the way that you do that is on Monday you do all of the pushing movements. So the triceps, the chest and the shoulders. On Tuesday you do the pulling movement. On Wednesday you do legs and then what I would do is Thursday you repeat what you did on Monday with the push and then on Friday you repeat what you did with the pull workout and then on Saturday the legs, Sunday is rest day. So if I was doing a split routine, that is the split routine I would do. But now let's talk a little bit about full body workouts and why I think 90% of you should be doing full body workouts opposed to split routines. I'm going to explain all of these things in this video so if I say something and you don't quite get it then I will explain it a little bit later on so don't worry about that but what we need to do if we want to build more muscle is hit the muscle groups more frequently so more times throughout the week which the full body workout allows you to hit the body parts three days per week whereas the split routine allows you to only hit each body part once or maybe twice per week. The other thing is either more volume or at least the same volume as you do when you're doing a split. The full body workout will allow for at least the same if not more volume throughout the week because you're not annihilating that muscle in just one workout. So listen in, this is the real reason right here that full body workouts are superior to split routines. When you go to the gym and work a muscle group, you trigger protein synthesis and you trigger the body to grow. That's what happens after you've just trained a specific muscle. Let's say we go to the gym, we train the chest, now you've triggered the body to grow, you've triggered protein synthesis. That rises right up after that workout, after you've stimulated that muscle, and then it hits its peak around 24 to 48 hours after that workout. This is where the magic comes in. If you're training full body on Monday and 48 hours later, you've hit that peak of protein synthesis. That means by Wednesday, you can hit it again. When it comes to Friday, you get to trigger that once again on Friday. 
Whereas if you're training chest, let's say once a week on a split routine, by Wednesday you've hit the peak of that protein synthesis and then it's ended. So now you have five full days where you're not benefiting from that extra growth at all. It means you've got to wait a full five days to be able to train that muscle again and trigger that protein synthesis again. So each week you're basically missing out on five days worth of more growth. Even if you do the push-pull leg split, which is what I said earlier, the problem is with that as well is yes, that's definitely better than only hitting one body part per week, but you're still only hitting it twice, so you're still missing out on a few days per week, whereas with the full body training, we're just never missing out. We're constantly in this state of growth, in this anabolic state. That's the main benefit of why almost all of us need to be doing full body workouts. But now I'm gonna talk a little bit more about some more benefits of full body workouts. One of my boring but favorite benefits to full body workouts is longevity. For me, this is a lifestyle. I want to be training when I'm 50, when I'm 60 years old, 40 years from now, I want to still be able to go to the gym and get a good workout in. If you're riddled with injuries and inflammation and tendon and ligament damage throughout the years of hard training, I can assure you when you're 60 years old, just because you're not thinking about it now, you will not be lifting weights. You're just gonna be riddled with injuries. What full body workouts allow you to do is have that extra day rest in between the workouts. Not only does that allow the nervous system to have a rest, which is one of the biggest things, but it also allows the tendons and the ligaments to have a rest as well. Not necessarily the muscles, even though it does allow the muscles to have a rest, that's not the big problem. It's the tendons, the ligaments, the joints, are the things that we need to look after, that we need to make sure get enough recovery time. If you're doing a split routine where you're training five, six days per week and you do that for 30, 40 years, you're just constantly in this state of trying to repair, trying to recover. Your body never really really gets a chance to fully recover and repair itself. This is why a lot of people start to quit on their training after five or 10 years. They're so burnt out from doing this high volume split routine over the years, and maybe they have a baby, and maybe they have more commitments at work, and they quit their training. Whereas with the full body workouts, it's far better for longevity. This also means less injuries along the way. So for me, all of my injuries I've had in training over the last four years have all been while I've doing split routines. And I'm not saying that's for everybody, but that is my personal experience. And I believe it's because of the reason I just listed below, even though you might be having the same volume as you would if you was doing a full body workout, it's the tendons, it's the ligaments. All of my injuries have always come while I've been doing split routines and I've actually had no injuries while I've been doing full body workouts. Now that's not to say that you're not gonna get injured while doing full body, but that's just my personal experience. Another thing is you look forward to training more and the reason that is because when you've had that one day to rest, you come back in the gym on Wednesday and you feel brilliant. If you've trained on Monday, you come back in the gym on Wednesday after that day's rest and you feel really good, you feel re-energized. Your workouts, every time you go to the gym, you feel like you're ready to train. You're ready to improve and to build your physique and give it your best shot. Whereas a lot of the time when you're doing these split routines, you'll go to the gym, annihilate a muscle, and you've still got another four days in a row to go to the gym or even five days and what happens is you feel tired you can't be bothered you have to take loads and loads of pre-workout to amp yourself up to work out and you don't really feel like training you don't want to be there you're just doing it because you feel like you've got to another reason is if you're somebody that's concerned about time or you don't have much time you only have to go to the gym three days per week meaning you've got the other two days to do other things. Let's not forget most people have to drive or walk to the gym. That might take 30 minutes. So not only do you have your hour workout, you've also got an hour's worth of commuting time just to get there and back. So obviously if we're only training three days per week, that means it's more time efficient as well. Another huge benefit to full body workouts is you're gonna burn more calories as well. Doing full body workouts will allow you to burn more body fat. The reason is because you're doing more compound movements and more compound movements mean you're gonna expend more energy. It means you need more calories and energy to support those big lifts. Doing those big lifts will also mean you're gonna burn more calories throughout the rest of the day and the next day as well. The full body workout will also increase your testosterone and your growth hormone, two big factors in muscle growth. By doing more compound lifts, 
by training all the muscle groups together, you're gonna get a bigger testosterone boost and a bigger growth hormone spike also. We talked a little bit about volume earlier. So what I mean by volume is how many sets you can do per week. Let's say you train every body part once per week. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna choose four exercises and you're gonna do four sets per exercise. So you're gonna get 16 sets per week. So let's just take the shoulders for example. So you'll pick four exercises and you'll do four sets per week and you'll hit that again the following week. The benefit you have straight away with the full body workout is what you'll do on a full body workout is you'll choose two exercises and you'll usually do around three sets per exercise. So that's only six sets. So this person has 16 sets a week, you only have six. But the only benefit here is now with the full body workout, you can hit that another two times. So you'll get another six and another six. So that's a total of 18 sets per week just for each muscle group. Now with the split routine, obviously you only get 16 sets per week. You're not going to be able to do any more volume in a workout than 16 sets just for one muscle group. You're going to be far too sore and you won't be able to do anything else the next day, even if you're not training that body part. So there is a potential for more volume, even if it's just two sets extra per week over the course of a year. That's 100 or more sets per year per body part and that means you're going to grow more. The other big factor is something I've talked about in other videos before and that's the way you build muscle in the gym is by doing compound movement. A compound movement is when you're working multiple muscle groups with just one single exercise. The best example of this is the bench press. The bench press is an exercise you do for the chest. However, because it's a compound movement, when you're pushing that weight from your chest, you're also working a little bit of the shoulders and a little bit of the triceps as well. So you're getting extra growth in those muscle groups even though that's not the target muscle that you're trying to work. It's the same thing with a bent over row for the back. It's the same thing with squats for the legs, for shoulders, the overhead press. You're working multiple muscle groups. However, when you do an isolation exercise, you're really only targeting one muscle. For example, if you're doing a simple bicep curl, you're not working the chest, you're not working the back, you're not working any other muscle other than you're just isolating that bicep. The reason I say that is if you're doing four exercises in one workout for one body part, you can't do four compound movements. The reason for this is you're gonna be far too fatigued. You're gonna be really, really fatigued. You will not be able to do a chest, a bench press, dips, incline press. You will not be able to do all of those exercises in one workout. So what you'll have to do is do a bench press and maybe dips. But that also means then you're gonna be doing maybe cable crossovers and let's say incline chest flies. The problem is with the other two movements, is they shape the chest a little bit. You will grow a little bit from those movements, but really you're not gonna put much size on doing isolation exercises such as the chest flies. So really you're doing 16 sets opposed to the full body guy that's doing six sets per week, but you're doing basically the same amount of compound movements. All you're doing extra is some little isolation movements, which really aren't gonna help you build that much muscle anyway. And then you factor in the other guy still has two full workouts left during the week. He's obviously going to grow more muscle than you if you're doing a split routine. This is why the push-pull legs is slightly better, but you can clearly see the full body is still superior. So split routines are okay. You will get some results with split routines. I just argue you'll get bigger faster and also in the long run, you're going to be able to get closer to your genetic potential. Because if you're gaining a few extra pounds of muscle a year because of the full body workouts being superior, over the course of 10 years, that's at least 10 to 20 pounds of muscle that you would have gained more if you was doing full body workouts. 10 or 20 pounds of muscle is massive. It's an absolutely huge amount of muscle. So really it's convincing to me that full body workouts are the best. The reason I say that is when you weigh them up, the pros and cons, there's really nothing that the split routines can do that the full body can't. There's nothing that's better about them than the full body. I think the full body workouts win hands down. The only benefit to a split routine is there's maybe 5% of the population that for some reason genetically, they just respond better to the split routine than the full body workout. And that is why I do recommend changing it up and actually trying both for yourself and seeing which one you prefer. The main thing is though, that is only a very small percentage of people and it's unlikely that you fit into that category. The other type of person that will benefit better from the split routine is somebody that's taking anabolic steroids. 
they're going to do better on a split routine than a full body workout. However, hopefully that's not you. If you want to get started with a full body workout, if you go to the comment section down below, the first comment there, I'm going to list a beginner's full body workout and you can scale up from there. 